Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Bros. Doomsday. I am immensely curious what's about to happen right here. Because this level is bound to... What the... Um, this level is bound to have a strange perspective, evidently. Um... And... What the... And mixed perspectives. This doesn't really make sense. Look at these boxes, they're like... Y you view them from somewhat of a high angle. But some things are being sort of viewed directly at that. Then this doesn't look good at all. Sorry. You should not mix perspectives like this, it looks really off. And... Sp speaking of looking off, it's a fucking creeper? What? What? I'm not gonna say that was entirely unexpected. I obviously foresaw it exploding, but... I kinda thought I would've been allowed to jump on it at all? I don't know, I was expecting it to work more so like a bomb. You jump on it and then it becomes ready to explode. And ugh, I hate ceilings, they're just the worst. Or maybe I just don't know how to work with them. <laughs> I mean, I definitely don't- I was in front of the pipe! Let me fucking jump! Piranha plants are always just a bother. Um, oh this is- this perspective is so weird. Like, not only do you have the weird kind of top-down view, but then there's all- well, not, obviously not top-down, but you know, sort of more, uh, three-dimensional view. But then there's also these things that are, like, in the background? Which, you know, the things behind there you could stand on? There's a lot of perspective issues there. Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. The really high jump helped me- there. <gasps> wow! I somehow fucking dodged that, thanks to the exact- Place the pipe was positioned. What the? That was like a greenish coin? I think it added to my. Fuck off! I think it added to my, um. Dragon coin total. Um. If what's to the right there isn't walk onable, then that's not very clear. Evidently clear enough for me, but. I feel like I could have easily not seen that. I don't know. I'm just finding things to complain about all the, all the places. That's not really nice. <laughs> there is... Oh. <laughs> that was just me being stupid, I'm sorry. This is a weird level. It's not really... working for me yet. I just noticed this. Save progress. Oh! Ooh! Oh! Wow. <laughs> So, um, okay, I think I know what this means. I think Ben has followed a so-called Nintendo tradition trope. I don't know what you want to call it. I fucking hate walls. But, um, it seems like because I beat the game, I no longer just have the quick save function, but, uh, entire, full, still quick, but not temporary save function. <laughs> okay. How about we test the theory about the saving? Because now I'm in a comfortable position. I have power-ups and lives, and that's nice. Save progress. I need to turn my Wi-Fi on so the game doesn't crash. <laughs> oh, did I say on? I meant off. Uh, here we go. F2. <coughs> well, it kind of worked. Kind of. Fine, it worked well enough. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, you probably did, but if you didn't... What happened is that when I started the game, I just died. So, just listen. Oh, what? Wait. This... Wait, huh? Okay, see, because when I loaded the game just a minute ago, it made the death sound. Because I had apparently died. You know, you notice that I saved when I had five- Fuck off, Mario! You notice how I saved when I had five lives and full power-ups, and then I just don't? It's because apparently the game treated it as- treated it as if I died. I don't really get the why, because saving the game took me to the map screen, I guess? That probably has something to do with it, but I don't understand how? Whatever. I'm in a fine position now, anyway. I will sort of get this Point and find a power-up anyway. Even if I'm small, because it's one of those weird special blocks that always give you the same thing. Hey, man. <laughs> I don't know. This level is 
weird. I'm not actually sure that I like it yet. It's kind of giving me a lot of wrong impressions. Like that part, not a huge fan. Although, that's also kind of a general idea. Wait, actually, how, how about I do Luigi here? How about I don't save the... Jesus. What I'm, what I was about to say, though, is that... Oh my gosh. Uh, oh fucking hell! Because I accidentally saved, I effectively lost a life to that! That... <laughs> <laughs> the save function is so stupid with that, and I, I do remember very well that being a case with the uh, uh, the um, fucking quick saving as well. That was always a problem when I had my control stuck and needed to quick save for that. But in those cases, I could just reset the game and be fine, be back to normal because I would have normal saved before, and the quick save would have been only temporary. Ha! Huh? That didn't fucking touch me. Jesus. <laughs> I need to... Uh, I should just stop expecting things to have to touch me in order to be a hit. Like, you know, obviously because... Shit like that happens. But also because... We are aware as the player and Ben is aware as the developer that the hitboxes are... You know, they range from... Oh, they range from good enough to shit, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Right, I was gonna be Luigi here. God, I'm not used to navigating the menus. It's been so long since I've actually bothered to change characters. I like how I praised that so much before. And I still, I you know, I still stand by all that. <laughs> really not my day today. When it comes to fucking platformers. I was playing, um... Let me just reset this. I was playing another game before, as well, just for the hell of it, and I was doing really, generally really poor decisions. So maybe it's just that kind of day. <laughs> okay, screw the nonsense of getting that fire flower, that's just a fucking bad idea, in general. Speaking of bad ideas... <laughs> No, I don't mean to be so fucking rude, but this game is kind of not being favorable to me at the moment, and I don't generally... I need to stop using the word generally. I don't generally appreciate that, though. I could use generally there because I was already... ...dedicated to it. Wow. Oh, wow. This is just kind of, you know, good tricky stuff. I like that. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because I did it on my first try, because I just died. So it's not valid. Harry, don't go. Okay. Oh, I'm curious with something. Since we already have only one life anyway, how about we test a theory? Save progress, and then go back in. I'm trying this because... Actually, there's gonna be two interesting things to find out now. I didn't mean to die there, but that gives us... Proper, that gives us time to try things anyway. First and foremost, I wanted to see if the saving the game would somehow save my checkpoints, because that would be nice. But resetting the game is probably gonna kill me? <laughs> so before I reset, let's just see what happens when I start normally. Not Ben is a hoe! God damn it. Okay. How about we don't reset? Because that's gonna kill me. It actually does save my checkpoint. Nice! <laughs> Never again do I need to worry about losing a checkpoint. That is amazing. Although, I can't really reset the game like that. I need to have the game reset by way of game over. Otherwise, it's gonna make me lose a... I mean, that only applies when I only have one life. Because if I reset the game now and it makes me lose a life, <laughs> I think you can... Oh, wow, I didn't see that coming. I think you can tell why that would be a bad thing. Actually... Wait... Hang on. No! No, 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 no! Nothing I'm saying makes any sense. Because... There's no difference between resetting the game like this and resetting it by a game over. So it's just... 
by coincidence that I'm not losing a life this time? Or is it because it happens to be well programmed when it's just one life left? The okay, I'm severely confused about that. But confusion aside, I'm much more liking the second half of the level. It's more well made. <laughs> And also generally looks nicer, because there isn't all that fucking perspective crap. That was... Oh, I was really confused there. Too much information to me. Wasn't sure whether to avoid the waffle or the fire, and it, in the end... I did neither. <laughs> Can I stand here? I think so, yeah. And then... Here we... Oh! I'm gonna get this power up first, but that's a secret note. Is this gonna... Kill me? Yeah, kinda. No, but... I... Okay. This is a secret area. Wait, is the gravity normal in here? Kinda felt like it? Um, I can't really tell with the springboards, but it kinda felt like it when I jumped to the first one. Okay, I appreciate these coins leading me downwards. That was a nice secret! Good job! <laughs> Can you two just fall down and die? No! Because they no longer like falling into things. Okay, they fell down. It's gonna fall down eventually, is that right? Nope. Oh, it kept telling him he was going to fall down and he never did. I just realized that's a complete that's a dick move if you don't have a yellow switch. <laughs> like Wow. Uh, not a fan of that, but at least I didn't need to go through it. Whatever. If I'm just patient enough, these will surely kill themselves eventually. One of them has already done it once. Is it gonna do it again? Yeah, there's one. There's two. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with the Koopa Troopas. They seem to somehow bounce on things that aren't floors and just are perfectly okay with it. That's not a normal exit. Maybe there isn't supposed to... Like, if this is a secret exit, then the normal one is more hidden. Which would be weird. It's a fortress, though. Fortresses don't have secret exits, right? Uh, I actually don't remember. I hope they don't. Because it's not like I would have any idea where to look. Here we go, back in the cloud place. Sky Garden. Playing Mario Kart Super Circuit. That sounded weird saying it, because I forgot the name and had to remember it while saying Is this a vine I can climb? No. Is this like inside a greenhouse? Are we, are we really playing Super Mario Odyssey? I was just joking when I said that last time. Because <laughs> this is definitely looking like the Steam Gardens with, uh, with that um, background there. Although the background is kind of the only... I mean, this is kind of garden-like and all. I don't know. I guess the idea probably is a greenhouse. But then this was also probably made a long time before Odyssey came out. So take that, Nintendo. Ben did it first. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry for wasting your time here. I'm just trying desperately to get this flower. So I don't have to deal with it under, under any circumstances. But I don't entirely understand the sort of momentum of the hammers. It seems like... Um, they move slightly... F fuck it, do it. That, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Holy shit, I have four lives? How did I get so many? I forget that I, I... I keep praising that you can switch between the characters and I keep forgetting that I can also. Ooh! I was expecting to go down here. Uh, this looks dangerous. This also looks Yoshi's Island-like. Which I guess, you know, if you're gonna mix styles from any games, even though they have completely different styles, at least Yoshi's Island is, like, fitting for its name. Um, whoa my gosh, I should have turned the camera. These, um... Those square blocks in particular kind of remind me of Mega Man stuff. And for that matter, to be honest, the weird perspective in the, in the uh, previous level sort of remind me of Mega Man X, and I don't know why I keep getting these reminders, because these aren't games I've actually played. So it's not like I... Uh, can this camera pan it upwards? Thank you. I don't know. I've only seen very limited footage, footage of those games. I think I have Mega Man 3 on my 3DS. And I 
gotta be honest, it's not really my kind of game. <laughs> but, oh, hello, Vine. Which I can't climb with Yoshi, thank you very much. Um, fine, I'll leave the dinosaur here. Is this anything worth leaving my dinosaur for? That's a pipe, I probably would have gone in that pipe. Else. Um, what's wrong with the halfway point of that pipe? You know, right next to the one-up? Why is that a different shade of green? Weird. Oh boy. Was this all just for a coin? No! Uh, <laughs> that was not worth leaving my dinosaur for. How would you structure that sentence if you didn't want to have the preposition at the end? Then again, would four count as a preposition in that particular scenario? Is four a preposition? Fuck it, I... Don't know English. <laughs> I should say though that the conveyor belt's just kind of floating in the air looks really bad. <laughs> to be honest, like there should be some sort of border to them, because these conveyor belts are sort of you know supposed to go around. Like it's supposed to be one long belt that goes in a circle, but it doesn't really do that. Shit! I lost my dinosaur. <laughs> Fine, I'll hope that it isn't necessary. I don't know why I keep calling it an it. Yoshi is like officially male according to the Mario Wiki or something. I don't know. Well, this time we're not sacrificing a dinosaur. And yes, that pipe was go throughable as expected. Oh, what is this tile? Um, this background. That looks weird. Are, are, are the purple stuff supposed to be like flowers or um? Uh, pff, wait, what the? Oh, was that? Huh. Was that in the, in the original Super Mario World? I don't remember ever testing that, so I don't know. Um, how about we try and get in Dinosaur and Springboard, all at the same time. Will Yoshi, like, uh, swallow the Springboard after a while? I don't remember. Evidently there's a lot- NO! Well, <laughs> pretty sure I just lost both. How about we save the progress? So that my checkpoint is intact. There we go. And I start somewhere completely different, which is confusing me because I don't, I don't know where I am. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I know we've seen this before, but I like the butterflies. They're nice. In the distance is New, new Mushroom City. The inhabitants of the city. <laughs> oh, was, was all this made before Odyssey or what? <laughs> I'm actually pretty sure that all of this was done before Odyssey. So that's kind of kind of funny coincidences that we're seeing the greenhouse, the glitchy Koopa shell, uh, and then the city, new mushroom city, not donk, but mushroom. It's like I forgot I had the weird. Oh, he just fell down. That's cool. <laughs> oh, I can't even use my flowers because the shell thing is a problem. It's weird how that happens. I don't really understand like from a wow punishments for getting the switches that's weird oh and of course the one i don't have is the one that doesn't do anything nice <laughs> fucking nice <laughs> jesus oh wow that's a lot of footballs well football man M man that's kind of a kind of a mix between men man and men oh shit oh boy uh, you better be able to go through this pipe thank you <laughs> i wasn't sure what the Oh no, I- oh no, I don't like this. Good. We got away from that stupid background. That was not a- I hope that's not something I need to come back to. Cause I'm not a fan of background making me see poorly. I see poorly enough as it is. I don't need the help of the game to further that. If this is just for a dragon coin and, and I actually do need to go to the stupid background, then I'm gonna be sad. Hey, Fire Flower. I hope I can get more flowers and not just hammers, because flowers are nicer than hammers. You know, just as a general <laughs> household tip. If you want to decorate or something, I guess. Oh, this is going to be tricky. I hope they're at least timed well. They're not. They're timed completely arbitrarily. Good. I'm going to have a really fun time here. Ugh. No, and I fell. And that's not the end of the world. Okay. What is... Hang on. That was a weird one. Um, what are the black tiles here? Is this an oversight or a secret? Likely an oversight, but you never know. 
like I said, when I play Nintendo games, I expect things to be done intentionally, and I don't always do so with Ben's games. And this is kind of a an example of that. Where, you know, if this were a Nintendo game, then that would definitely mean something. But it isn't, so it doesn't have to. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh my gosh, there's so much to spin jump on. <laughs> oh boy. Uh... I'm liking that a lot. That's just really tricky. But like, um... Oh wait, oh this is just... this is just a checkpoint room. I don't really understand the purpose of it then. Whatever, doesn't matter. But no, this is uh, this is really cool level design. It's tricky and all. And though I'm not a huge fan necessarily of the saw jumping part in particular, I don't know. I'm not sure I really want to say that I dislike it because it's actually bad. I don't think it is. I think it's just really super tricky. <laughs> but also, you know, generally, it, it's not a completely new thing, of course, but generally you don't work your way upwards quite like that. Oh no, did I save my game? I don't think I did. Sure didn't. I mean, I did the one time, but not the other time. And I think I lost a life again. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the, the foreground is so much so a foreground that it's in front of the fucking menu. <laughs> That's weird. Fuck it, it worked well enough. <laughs> I'm really wondering what this is all gonna lead to. I'm assuming this will just function as a... Why'd I grab that? <laughs> Saw collectible! Got, got it by force of habit. But no, I'm assuming this will just lead, uh, you know, this will just function as a shortcut to the cloud place. But still, I like this a lot. This is... You know, do you notice a pattern when it comes to Ben's good bit levels versus bad levels? No, I, I, neither do I. There, there is no pattern. Just sometimes there's these really wonky levels. And I feel like half of that fortress level kind of was, but the, the other half really made up for it. The other half was a lot nicer. The other half had a lot better platforming challenges, and um, really the main problem with the first half of that level is just kind of that the first half was a little bit poorly designed in some places, I feel. Uh, and also it looked, you know, it was really poorly designed in a um, complete, in a full, fully fucking, um, what am I trying to say, artistic aesthetic level. It just looked really bad because of the whole perspective issues. This level here, though, I liked a lot. It was, uh, really great. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. It's not a shortcut, it's just a sneak peek. Or something. It is a shortcut to something else, though. It's this fucking pipe. Oh, wait, have we seen this pipe before? I forget if we've actually seen this pipe or if I just imagined that we have. Um, either way. Fucking nice level. Um, however... That begs the question, are we gonna come back here later on, or...? Because there sure is a pipe to the right there, and these levels le levels sure are yellow. So the only other option here would be a secret exit from the space fortress. But number one, I don't think fortresses have secret exits, and I don't know where it would be in that level either, for that matter. But then again, it wouldn't be the first time where a level had stumped me like that from a secret exit that... Supposedly could be nowhere. But how about I think we're gonna end things off end things off here, which may I'm stuck. Whoa! Oh no, I wasn't. I just had to hit left for some reason. Wait, I had to hit left again. What is going? <laughs> oh, never you mind. I was just having my fingers at the wrong place, and when I thought I hit down, I hit right. When I thought I hit up, I hit fucking shift. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, whatever. I think, uh, I still haven't bothered to re-get the secret exit down there. The one on the level right before the factory. So it's not that I haven't found that one, I just haven't bothered to find it again. I'm just looking through the levels here to see what we want to do next time. Because I think it's a good place to end it now. I guess the next logical step would be to go to the Rocky Canyon. Uh, which I, I remember these three levels getting like, uh, sequentially better and better, because it started out really... Uh, 
and then kind of, yeah, that was okay, and then started out rocky, but then improved and got nice. Like, I, I think I remember liking this level. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll see that next time. More secret exits? Sounds good. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.